Hi, uh, my name is Kimberly and I'm no ordinary woman. And, you know, the reason being is because um, when I received the Holy Spirit, there were certain situations that I passed through in my life that, you know, being, being natural, being, um, being, how can I put it, being common, <laughs> um, I would not have been able to overcome that process. I'll give you an example. I remember five years ago, um, my family and I, we, we literally lost everything. I remember we lost our home. We lost, we, we lost everything that we had, um, we had um, inquired, you know, over the years. We had to leave everything behind because we couldn't take everything with us. So, you know, from having a beautiful house, from having everything we wanted, to now having to share um, a house with family members, you know, from sleeping to the sofa to me sleeping on the floor, you know, and because of this, I had a lot of pain in my body. I didn't have my own privacy, you know, I, to even to get ready, I had to get ready in the toilet. So, you know, um, all this feeling started to build up because, you know, there was one family member who, who played a part in it. And, you know, no one spoke to that family member, but I was the only one that, that um, spoke to that family member. And every time, you know, that person would speak to me and express, you know, the, the action, why they took that action, those, you know, those um, hateful feelings started to come inside of me. Because I was, you know, I would say to myself, hold on a second, you took our family from having something to having nothing. And now you want to pass the blame to everyone else. And those feelings, those, you know, those grudges start to build inside of me. And one thing, you know, from having the Holy Spirit, he showed me that, Kim, don't allow these feelings to, to stay. Because we're all going to have feelings. Someone is going to upset you. Someone is going to do something wrong to you. But it's what you do with those feelings that count. And the Holy Spirit was showing to me that these feelings were starting, you know, to, 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 to build a home inside of my heart. To the point that when I hear the person's name or I, I see their, their, their caller ID, I just start to get really angry at that person. And the Holy Spirit showed me that it's not worth it. It's not worth losing you know, the most important person in my life, which was the Holy Spirit and the, the relationship I had with God. It wasn't worth it to lose all of that just because of an action that someone took. So he helped me to, you know, the Holy Spirit encouraged me and, and helped me to see that, okay, I've lost everything, but I didn't lose my life. I didn't lose my family members. We're still alive. So, you know, he gave me that hope that things will change, that what we, we had lost we can gain all of that, and we can even gain all of that to be much better. So that was one of the qualities that, you know, of having the Holy Spirit that helped me, you know, to, to, to open my vision and make me see that things are going to change. Things are not going to remain the same. I'm sleeping on the floor today, but tomorrow I'm not going to be sleeping on the floor. You know, things are going to get better in, in our finances, and we're going to be able to build ourselves up. But one thing... And I don't know if you're listening to me right now and you've gone through that experience of having grudges, you know, or you're still having grudges towards someone. You're refusing to let go of those feelings. One thing that the Holy Spirit helped me was to forgive. And that was the hardest thing, to forgive, to let go. Because you think, okay, me forgiving this person, that person won. You know, that person, it's like the action that they, they, they took was the right action. But actually, no. You forgiving them doesn't hold them up, doesn't, you know, doesn't justify their action. You forgiving, you know, helps yourself. That's one thing, you know, the Holy Spirit showed me that me forgiving that person helped, is going to help me. It's going to help me to have a clearer mind of knowing what to do. And it's going to help me to, you know, to remain with God, to have that peace inside of me, you know, not to be troubled, you know, within me. So that's one thing the Holy Spirit showed me, that forgiving is going to help me. 
It's going to make me stronger. It's going to make me better. And it wasn't easy, okay? Honestly, it wasn't easy letting go of those feelings. But as I was, you know, asking the Holy Spirit for his help, you know, for his strength to, to help me to forgive. Because I'm going to forgive, but I needed this help as well to be able to let go of those feelings. When I hear the person's name, when I think back to what happened to my family and I, I'm not, those feelings are not going to come back. And gradually, the Holy Spirit helped me. He healed me inside. You know, those feelings of hatred were gone. Today, I talk to this family member. I'm okay with this family member. When I think about what happened over five years ago, there's no hard feelings. You know, I'm not sad. I'm not crying over spilled milk of what my family and I had lost. Because today, we know, we've built everything. We're building everything back. My family members, my parents. My mom, you know, they're building everything back, you know, to, to what it was and it's getting better. So, you know, one thing that makes me um, an ordinary woman is having the Holy Spirit to help me to handle certain situations that naturally I wouldn't be able to deal with. So that's why I would, I would like to encourage you to take part in these 21 days because when the Spirit of God comes inside of you, you're going to be able to do things that you've never been able to do. Strength to forgive. You're going to have peace inside of you. You're going to receive a power inside of you that, you know, nothing and no one can give to you. So I would like to encourage you to take part in this 21 days because it's going to bless you and you will never, ever be the same. Your mentality, the way you are within, will never, ever be the same. So... I hope this message, um, my video, helped you. Take care. See you. Bye.